after downloading PD Domini site volume 1, these are the four files that you will get. Okay, from these four files um, in this video, you're going to learn how to customize it all. Okay, first thing that I want you to do is to unzip this, um, the HTML uh, mini site volume 1, this file here. I have 7 zip, extract it to a folder. Okay, it's appearing. Okay, so here it is. So you can have a look at how each of this looks like. Okay, so here's one. And let's see the others. Okay, here's another one. Okay, here's one I created for kind of like martial art websites. I call it the Fight Club. And lastly, here's Steel Product. Now, um, I've supplied you with all the Photoshop PSD source, so you can change this header here, but at the same time, still have the same kind of like look and feel to it. Okay, to do that, let's go back to the folders. Okay, you see here there's a file called PSD Mini Site Volume 1. Unzip that to a folder. Oops, I'm sorry. It's appearing at the unzip was happening at another monitor of mine, but never mind. You'll get this folder here, and in here, you see that you have um, quite a number of uh, Photoshop files. Okay, so let's um, start to edit. How about this one, the explosive product? Explosive product is mini site 02. So Let's go here to mini site 02. Okay, that should be mini site 02 header instead of headline, but never mind, just a typo in the file name. So let's click and open that in Photoshop. So hold on, I have my Photoshop in another window. So here we go. So here it is. Now you can always change. Um, let me just pull that up a little bit. Okay, now looking at the layers on the right here, you will see that we have a lot of stuff here, and one of it is kind of like a group. You can click on that and see that that's called bomb. Okay, that is the graphic for that. Okay, you see that just disappeared, disappeared there because I can't make it invisible. We can put it back. And there it is again. Okay, you can change that to any graphic you want, or maybe uh, you want to put in your own photo, something like that. I'm looking for the tools. Okay, window tools. Oops, window tools. Okay, it's over here, over in my other window. Okay, now you can put kind of like a photo here if you want, and maybe position that way uh, behind um, those boxes. Okay, maybe too much. You want it to be in front of the header, but um, behind that content area. Okay, maybe that's about right. I'm gonna look for this uh, sun effect, that uh, sunburst effect. So let's uncheck that, and you're left with something like that. And let's just turn that into uh, double click on the right side of the layer here. It will bring up this layer styles. I'm gonna put in some stroke there, put it inside, and add about um, too much. How about eight pixels? And let's turn that to white, and maybe a little bit of drop shadow, size ten, and dim down the opacity a little bit to forty, and just a little bit of uh, gradient overlay. Tune it down a little bit, okay, and you have something like that, okay, you can put in your photo inside and maybe rotate that a little bit, something like that, okay, and uh, if you want, um, we have some um, yellow bar here for the uh, tagline, and this is the shadow effect, layer 3 is the shadow effect, Okay, you can click on both of, both of those and like move that behind 
your image yeah that that, that area that's supposed to have your image there and this short description right click on it you can see that's the layer that we're looking for and move it a little bit to the right okay and we can always change this into don't mess around with me and maybe change the tagline into dangerous information that will change your life okay now I'm gonna toggle control H so that we remove all these guidelines okay so that's your new header we can just save that save for the web hold on okay here it is <laughs> well you always get that when you have dual monitor like me when we're recording in one place and <laughs> and uh, the main monitor is on the other side okay jpeg at 60 percent is quite all right click save okay we're at o2 images and there you go the header in case you want to save this you can always like right click and rename this into something else okay and then make sure we just um, <coughs> name our header as the header dot jpeg click save and we're done and we can go back to this page here and click on the refresh button there you go now that wasn't too hard was it so um, just go ahead and get your own um, you know mini site volume 1 and start creating your own mini site by creating a new header to it